what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today i'm joined by my wife here and we're doing a, re a tiktok reaction video hello guys the world ended in 2012. remember in the year 2020 when people believed that we were actually in the year 2012 because of the switch from the julian calendar to the gregorian calendar in 1752 and that the belief that the world was going to end in 2012 or 2020 could actually be true what if they were right? I don't know about you, but time has been passing by faster than ever, and everyone has been so negative. And let's not forget the biggest event of 2020. You know the global pandemic that led to the death of millions, the close down of businesses, economic crisis, and the stay-at-home orders. What if the world as we know it did end? We just didn't notice. Theories suggest that we are currently living in a different reality, and while some believe that the world actually ended in our perceived 2012, and others believe it ended in the Julian calendar 2012, both agree that there has been some sort of paradigm shift and, uh, that has altered reality. Was you scared as in 2012 when you, they said the world's going to end? No. You wasn't? No, I, was I think I slept on New Year's. I was low key scared. And we all should know by now the that there are hidden messages in our films and TV shows. So what if the film 2012 was trying to tell us something? But what do you think? Have you noticed anything strange lately? The description of paradise in heaven is described in... Room where it would be lovely one day to drink from that water. Yeah, man, that probably be good. Like, oh <gasps> replenish your whole Hard life. Content. You said it made you sad? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Just look at this map from the 1500s. This was the Americas, and not only the massive trees, Excuse me. but the castles already there in 1500. And yes, the massive trees. How you feel about that? You think that some of these, like, because I'd be looking at that sometimes too. You think, like, mountains are trees, some mountains be trees? What, like. <laughs> Bro, sit, sit. The trees that we are told to dismiss what our eyes see as nothing more than just coincidence, a trick of your eyes, that all these strikingly close similarities to these ancient formations, much smaller counterparts are just some form of pareidolia. We're gonna always and they're stop actually it. all finish it volcanoes. Another time. Volcanoes spewing perfect hexagonal columns just like the cell walls of a tree. But history and geology, like the two political systems, that would be dope though if are the wings of the same bird. Those really are, were that trees. That same bird that yeah, imagine how tree, that big the trees us. were back then. Those bindings are the links of endless lies Looks that like form it. the yeah. system of control we're in today. If but it I'm was like, just who, giant trees, why Yeah, would who's cutting that down with what? The purpose. The answer is there isn't really much. But you must think bigger. 
bigger than these trees but what if they just died you know we don't really know how old the earth really is so like what if they were trees and then over time they just slowly just died i don't think nobody's cutting that perfect like that yeah that's true Gents of truth these ancient trees are mere saplings but i hope with this channel that all the seeds of truth all the questions we've uncovered will one day flourish into a forest of positive change and weaken That's the change beautiful. they have over us all, if not only just a little. Really I'll never guy. force you to see what I see or claim to know all the answers. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here to show you the possibility to live off of something more. Natural resources. And to, of course, question Tree everything, bark. friends. Until yeah. next time. Until a, until a tsunami come through that mark. I'm looking nuts. All these mega corporations get to the point where there is no more demand because people can't afford to buy anything anymore. See, I've had enough of mega corporation greed. Every year, y'all are raising my rent and my subscriptions, but you guys are crying about having to pay taxes? It's giving Marie Antoinette. I just want to know when is all this inflation greed and subscription culture finally going to get out of hand enough for there to be like a worker class revolution. And I want to talk about it today because no one can afford any of these middle class luxuries working. anymore. And greed inflation from these fat cat billionaire companies trying to squeeze every last penny out of us is so real. So what is going to be the limit? Before we all snap and we see like a French Revolution style worker class rebellion, I'm not the only one starting to notice the signs. The first and most popular one for the last two or three years is subscription fatigue. Netflix was the first to crack down on password sharing and I've heard that the rest of them are planning on rolling that out soon. So going forward, I'm only gonna be subscribing to like one at a time depending on what TV show I'm watching that month. Like, I don't know if you've seen people buying that $200 hatch alarm clock and then it's asking them to pay for a subscription to use an alarm clock that you pay $200 for, which is an- But why y'all paying $200 for an alarm, alarm clock? clock? Yeah. yeah, if y'all don't get y'all them old school alarm clocks that everybody but had as a kid. Just deserve the extra charges. Yeah. If you pay $200, you might look at the subscription. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, y'all better get them black old school Fat alarm clocks that everybody had in the 90s and early 2000s. Insane or statement alone, but still. Just use your phone. I tried to plug this bad boy in the other day that I've had since high school to my computer and it asked me to subscribe, so I've just decided I don't actually need this anymore. <laughs> I can rely on my phone camera at that price. And yes, all of these things can be seen as luxuries, so let's get into talking about the unaffordable nature of necessities nowadays. Inflation is also affecting rent. A record amount of Americans now can't afford rent at all. Most Gen Z and Millennials are still relying on their parents for financial support. Which, Thank yes, God, that's not 20% us. 20% of Millennials yeah. and 68% of Gen Zers okay, just living at home entirely. <laughs> they not planning to move out anytime soon. Rent for a lot of people is costing like 30% of their income. And a lot of people are spending more than 30% of their income on rent and up to 50% of their income on rent. I think I spend more than half of my income. I'm not going to lie. We don't spend half of that. We don't. But pay the groceries are insane right now, bro. Like the, the grocery that I just did, it came out to like one forty something, I think. And that shit wasn't that much. <laughs> Low key, like uh, twenty eighteen, that would have been like eighty nine dollars. Yeah. yeah. I can tell you. Only thing, not only thing, inflation is definitely affecting food because I see it like I feel like gas is pretty cool, but everything is a subscription. Right, personally, and homelessness across the country, which was on the way down kind of until about 2015 16, is now going back up. That's not good. I don't know what happened with this year of data, I just liked this graph the most. They all pretty much look like that, don't worry. The average price of like a typical home is absolutely skyrocketing and the price of food keeps going up and up as well. I just used milk for an example because that seemed like a pretty safe staple. And you can see it's just rising significantly. Now talk about Basic eggs. necessities of life, which is literally just food and shelter, are becoming like more, and more unaccessible Nothing to the average the brown person. Eggs. Yeah, and, and we like the brown eggs. People are getting more and more understandably upset about it, but nothing is being done about it. So I want to know if this continues to get ignored and overlooked, too, what's going to be the last thing? I'm genuinely kind of worried about it. We're like too much this is fake as fuck, bro. Like, oh, I like him. This is gonna be our last one. We're gonna wrap it up after this, y'all. There's no such thing as other planets or outer space. I believe the planets are actually just fallen angel beings, and I'm about to show you. So we know, according to scripture, stars are angels, angels are stars. We know that we all live under God's firmament. There's no such thing as outer space. So all the stars or angels are inside the firmament. Right, according to Revelation, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, right? So we know stars are angels. 
right? We know one third of the stars of heaven or the angels fell, right? They disobeyed God. These are known as the fallen, right? Now the book of Ezekiel gives us a description of what some of these angels look like. As for their appearances, they four had one likeness, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. So a wheel inside of a wheel. This is a picture of Mars captured by the Nikon P1000 camera. What do you see? A wheel inside of a wheel. But notice how the pictures of the planet from an actual regular camera is like an actual, like, it's like a whatever that is. It's not like a perfect HD picture of Mars red and like that shit fake. That's that NASA shit. Now you can Hard go find explain. a bunch of Greek and Roman gods that actually have the same names as the planets. They were named after them because they're not actually planets. The false gods are really just fallen angels in disguise. This stuff mm. is no joke and go look it up. Why do you think they had us building these solar system projects in school, trying to get us to memorize all these names? We were giving false idolization to these false gods, right? And they all right, we stop right there. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hold on, y'all. Let me get right back. All right, yeah. So there you have it. I have my wife on today. Just some TikToks that ran across my that came across my desk. I wanted to go over with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want me to do more videos with my wife, let me know in the comments. Smash that like button. And uh yeah, we'll do it again if you guys enjoy this content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.